Hello and welcome to Tales from the Nerd. I'm your host, Random Nerd slash Random Nerd 2016 slash Kevin. And this is my weekly podcast where I talk about the comic books coming out every Wednesday. But this week we're going about we're we're going to be talking about the comics coming out this November 18th, 2020, which is uh, quite a lot of books. As Thanksgiving is literally next week. Um, you're going to see later on this channel a dedication to Supernatural, where I'm going to talk about Supernatural, hopefully, by Wednesday. If not, I'm sorry, just going to try it. But, yes, uh, you will see that, because uh, Thursday will be the finale for Supernatural. But, yeah, this is comics. Uh, I'm currently reading the Power Rangers the Power Rangers book right now, so i got a bunch of comics I'm still reading on the side. I'm busy, but, yes, uh, but I'm, I'm caught up with most of the stuff. I just need to read about eight issues, and then I'm good. Uh, but we're going to talk about the first book, which is Amazing Spider-Man number 53, written by Nick Spencer, penciler by Mark Bagley, inker by John Dell, and art, uh, colors by Edgar Delgado. The price is $3.99, and this is the description of the book, Last Remains Part 4. If you think you've seen a brutal Spider-Man fight before, you are wrong. You do not miss, do not miss this issue. Uh, yeah, the last remains storyline. Holy crap, there's uh, six parts to it, so issue 54 is part five, and six is the finale issue. And then we're going to get, like, the remnants of that uh, story event, and then we're going to get a, a normal Spider-Man story. But yes, it's going to affect Peter Parker, Spider-Man's life, I think, for the future, but we'll see. Uh, I like last remains so far. It's been interesting, especially after that shocking last page reveal. Um, yeah, holy crap. Uh, do I recommend? No, it's a no storyline, but it is a good fun trade, uh, story. Next up, Aquaman number 65, written by Kelly Sue DeConnick and art by Miguel Men Mendonca. The price is $3.99, and this is the description of the book. Villains, heroes, machina machinations, and long-held grudges from Kelly Sue DeConnick's definitive Aquaman run all converge in this issue. Arthur is defeated, and Mera, Mera's held captive, and Orm's grand plan is near completion. Together, Mera and Arthur are one of DC's most powerful couples, and when, when they send out the call, you better believe that everyone's ans everyone answers. Guest starring the Just League in a, final, in a finale that will amaze you. So, yes, we are dealing with the finale for Kelly Sue DeConnick's run of Aquaman. This is technically the finale of Aquaman, but we're getting a uh, last winter, like, one-shot with Aquaman, which will be, which will be issue 66. Weird, because they said this is the final issue, but now we're getting that one, so... Kind of weird, but, eh, I'm, I'm not I'm not DC editorial, so, yeah. Um, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, it's finale, so if you like Aquaman, he's probably going to get another book, because... Aquaman 2 is going to come out, of course, with Jason Momoa, um, not with the uh, with the actress who plays Mera, because there's a lot of controversy, controversy with that. But yeah, um, not a good jumping off point, unfortunately. So yeah, we're going to move on to the next book, which is Batman number 103, written by James Tynan IV, penciler by Carlo Pagulayan, an artist by Gillian March, inker by Danny Mickey, and colors by David Barone. The price is $3.99, and this is the description of the book. Ghost Stories, Part 2. Uh, Batman and Ghostmaker go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to decide which of them will remain will remain Gotham City's hero. The city is changing faster than ever in the aftermath of the Joker War, and with the change comes increasing dangers as, as Gotham citizens demand that Punchline be released from prison, plus... Harley Quinn faces certain death at the hands of Clown Hunter. So yeah, so 102 is your jumping on point. Um, Ghost Maker is literally a new character James Henry IV is doing for the story arc. Um, he was introduced in 100. He's making his first issue down at 102. If you can find 102, cool. If not, good luck. Um, so with these books, I always say you could either read them physically or digitally. I like him physically, as you can see here, and here, and here, um, but it's up to you. Uh, I will say this, DC books do come out on Tuesday, and Marvel books will come out, you know, every other uh, every other comic company comes out every 
Wednesday. DC just likes to put out their books Tuesday, but you can pick up your books on Wednesday. Make it easier on you if you collect Marvel, DC, and other indie books. Uh, good job in all point 102. Yeah, good story, good writer. Can't wait. Cable number six, written by Gary Dugan and the head of X, or the head of 10, John the Hickman, art by Phil Noto, and yeah, the price is $3.99, and this is the description of the book. Ten of Swords, Chapter 19, A Son, The Stars, A Fool, and His Bravery, continued, for, continued from Hellings number 6, and continued in, continued in X-Men number 19. Um, uh, the Cable, I think the Cable part of the story was part of the weakest link. It was still enjoyable, but it was part of the weakest link. Uh, but yeah, we're in Chapter 19, can you believe that? Uh, I still, I'm saving my X-Books, right, my Ten of Sword books right now. Um, I'm enjoying it for the most part, but I'm like, it's a lot of issues, and I've devoted a lot of money for uh, for something that hasn't happened yet. I don't know yet, because I haven't read the last three issues, uh, which was, what, Wolverine, Scalibur, and what is Marauders, I believe? I don't know. Um, I mean, I'll still read it. I Was not Marauders? Probably Marauders. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're in this event, you're in it. If not, you could skip it. Next up, Captain America number 25, written by Tony. Oh, written by Anthony Falcone and Tony Easy Coats. Art by Leonard Kirk and Michael Cho. The price is four ninety nine because it's a big twenty fifth issue. And this is the description of the book. All Die Young Part 5 slash The Promise. To rescue the Daughters of Liberty trapped in Madripoor, Captain America and his closest allies marshal their forces, but waiting in the wings for them is a reborn Red Skull, plus the, the doubt of the all-new Agent 13, along with a second celebra celebratory story by Michael Cho. Oh, okay. And yeah, this is basically what ta coats has been building up to uh, for the last, what, Five issues, maybe ten. Um, I enjoyed Captain America. It's a pretty cool Captain America run. It was really solid in the beginning. Kind of went nowhere in the middle. Probably around issue after you got out of prison. That's where like I'm like I'm interested in it, but at the same time I'm like, what's going on? And um, I mean, so far it's been pretty good. So uh, jumping on point, no next issue, yes. Next up. Catwoman number 27, written by Ram V, art by Fernando Blanco, and the price is $3.99, and this is the description of the book. Catwoman's going to be the top cat in Alleytown, and the first gang she's going to make an example is uh, Catum Mob, Mob, by stealing a truck full of contraband from right under their nose. Catwoman and the Alley Kids, the police and the cat... Cadmin, Cadim, Mob, all cover, converge in a high-speed heist. What do you get when you mix a cat, three kids, and a truck full of contraband speeding through the streets of Alleytown? One hell of a truck robbery, that's what. Um, Catwoman, I'm enjoying it. She's becoming her own boss. Her own gangster. She's gonna be her own mob boss. She's taking over Alleytown. And you know what, Ramby, you got me hooked. So, uh, Ramby, I'm enjoying this book. Issue 26 is pretty much your jumping on point. Issue 25, yes, but you get that short story, but 26 pretty much is your jumping on point. Uh, next up, a book that was really cool. Commanders in Crisis, number two, written by Steve Orlando, art by Dave Davide Tinto. The price is $3.99, and this is the description of the book. The Crisis Command, last survivors of the multiverse, are faced with an impossible task of avenging the death of an idea. DOA is empathy itself. While empathy withers and dies across the world, or originate, originators, originator uses her ability to bring the John Doe back for 24 hours to reveal the name of his killer. Now, Commanders is Crisis basically... It's like Crisis on Infinite Earths, you know, multiple worlds... They converge it to make to make things simpler. They put everything in one world and just call it Earth One. That's pretty much what this is. You get the introduction to each hero, each person in the in the first issue, and you're like, "Oh man, this is cool!" All these characters are are coming 
from different parts of their life. I'm not going to spoil the book. So read issue one. It's still on sale. Go get it. It's a fantastic book. I recommend it. It's not a Marvel or DC book. It's by Image. So I want to say that much. I like Heroes. And recently this year, I've been reading a lot of indie books. So these are my recommendations for indie. Uh, but yes, we are going to move on to next. Oh, yeah. Issue one and two. Pick it up. I mean, it's an amazing story. Next up. <sighs> Dark is... <sighs> Dark Knight Death Metal number five, written by Scott Snyder. Art, well, story penciler and uh, story and oh, yeah, penciler is by Greg Pooler, anchor by Jonathan Gapion, and colors by FCO Placencia. The price is four ninety nine, and this is the description of the book. In Anti-Crisis Part 5, the Darkest Knight has won with absolute power at the villain's fingertips. Warner Woman and the rest of the DC heroes are nothing to him, as the Darkest Knight turns his sights to his true goal, remaking the multiverse in his image. Can Earth's heroes rally together to make a last stand? Um, okay. As much as, like, this, I, I'm, I'm enjoying Dark Knight's metal. I like early Dark Knight's death metal, especially issue 2. Because it brought a lot of stuff and a lot of hope. Um, everything else, the the tie-ins, I'm like, I'm kind of tired of the tie-ins. I mean, I like the tie-ins from like Death Metal from the first event um, because we got the one shots with the villains, how their origins happened. Even though not all of them were good, but there was something about like, okay, this could have been this Earth's like version of Bruce Wayne who became evil and to kill the character, to kill the parallel or became this version of the bad guy or this hero it's cool this we're just getting oh yeah you want a story of that yeah we got you uh i'm i'm still in for the right i mean i'm i'm down for scott snyder i mean his stuff i like his stuff i mean i'm reading undiscovered country which holy crap that's a good book and people should be reading it more read it uh but i don't want to jump i don't want to make you jump on this book because it's already on issue five uh, unless you've been reading since issue one you're not going to get it. I mean, this is a seven-part issue story. And issue seven will change the landscape for DC for a while. But then future save will happen. So it'll be weird. Uh, but if you're on it, you're on it. If not, read it digitally. If not, if you can find it physically, good for you. But if not, good luck. Next up. Die, number 15. Written by Kieron Gillen and art by Steph Stephanie Hans. The price is three ninety nine, and this is your jump. Uh, this is a description of the book, The Great Game Part Five. The Great Game ends. The board is flipped. The pieces go to pieces. Can anyone play on? Uh, or die. It is basically Jumanji meets uh Stranger Things, and um, I said I was not gonna pick this book up when I heard the premise early on. About a year ago, I said, I'm not going to pick it up because I like Heroes, I like Marvel, I like DC, and I bought all the issues for Die. And I will say this, pick up the trade for the book, read it, you're going to enjoy it because it is that damn good. Um, I read all, all the issues in the day, holy crap, should have got into this book when it began, but I'm into indies now, so yeah, indies are phenomenal. A lot of the indies I'm, I'm reading, I recommend. So I'm putting them in a podcast. I'm letting everyone know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, awesome. Can't wait. Uh, I would not have you pick this up. Pick up the first two or three trades that are out. So pick up the first two trades and decide on your own if you want to pick up this story. Or the first trade and decide on your own. But uh, it is a really good book. It's really cool. And the art is phenomenal. Uh, next up, Fantastic Four, number 26. Written by Dan Slott, art by R.B. Silva, and colors by Jesus Aburto. The price is $3.99, and this is a description of the book. Dan, oh, a, a powerful portal to everywhere, the Forever Gate. The Forever Gate has been ripped open, and beings from other countless realities are pouring through, threatening to overwhelm Manhattan and the rest of the world. The Fantastic Four have to close it, except one being stands in their way. Mr. Fantastic? All this and the return of Fantastic Four friends and foes in one flame. So that's interesting. So we're getting a multiverse uh, issue. That's cool. Um, yeah, the Forever Great was the Forever Great. Forever Great. The Forever Gate 
basically was a creation in issue 25 for the yeah the big 25th issue but um yeah i mean pick it up enjoy it that's up to you it's a new storyline you can jump on there um there you go next up hellions number six written by zeb wells the head of x jonathan hickman art by carmen Cardinero, and colors by david Curiel. Designer by Tom Muriel. The price is $3.99. And this is the description of the book. Ten of Swords, Chapter 18. Chaos, Deceit, A Hero Returns. Continued from X-Force number 14 and continued continued in Cable number 6. So I'm going through this list A through Z. So as I'm going through here, you're going to hear this for a lot for Ten of Swords. So, yeah. Uh, not even jumping off point. I, I read all of Hellions and... Uh, I liked it. I liked Hellions. Hellions is literally Marvel's Suicide Squad, so that's cool. Uh, but next up, Immortal Hulk number 40, written by Al Ewing and penciler Joe Bennett, anchored by Rui Jose, colors by Paul Mount. The price is $3.99, and this is the description of the book. So here's the skinny. Hulk's lower than ever before. He's stuck in an iron hotel. Built just for him. There's a new Sasquatch garden door. If he gets through through him and the rest of Gamma Flight, all he wins is an airlock to open space. It's a rigged game with no way to win. Only Joe Fix It never learned how to lose. So, yeah. <laughs> um, we are ramping up. So, after this issue, we only got 10 issues left for Al Ewing. So he did say he's gonna finish at issue fifty. So, oh my god! I mean, this Hulk book literally reinvented Hulk. It literally saved Hulk. It beat Batman for a while, and Batman's always a top seller. But read the first trade. This book, I feel like this is a book you need to read from beginning to end. Read the trade; you're gonna be phenomenal. I recommend it to a lot of people, and they loved it. So yeah. Of course, I recommend more Hulk, but I'd rather for you to read the whole series from beginning to start, so beginning to end, so you know what's going on. Uh, but yes, because uh, I'm gonna put these randomly in uh, my channel because I was gonna organize these videos by like DC, Marvel, and Indies, but so I got more attention for more people to listen. Uh, if you want to find these websites that I use for my information for comics, or if you want to order comics. Or you want to find your comic shop locator. Oh, everything will be in the description. If you have any questions about comics. Let me know in my DMs for Instagram or Twitter. I will happily answer any comic book question related thing. To answer. I'll be happy to. For real. Uh, but yeah. They're in the description. My Twitter and Instagram is at a random nerd 2016. Literally the channel's name. So it's pretty easy to find me. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, moving on. Next up, Joker Harley Criminal Sanity number six, written by Cami Garcia, art by Miko Suyan, and Jason Bad Badoer. The price is five ninety nine dollars because it is an oversized issue because it is a black label book. book. So, this is not your kid's Harley Quinn or Joker. This is literally an adult story of a real life Harley Quinn and probably like an origin for the Joker. So, yeah, uh, we're going to go to the description right now. Harley Quinn's past and present collided, and both the family she was born into and the family she's found uh, when she met Eddie Malone are suffering. As Dr. Quinn's confrontation with the serial killer she's hunting uh, grow more intense, his actions lead her down a dangerous path. Now, Joker Harley Quinn, criminal setting, I enjoy for the most part. It's not like the greatest book because I keep forgetting what happens because the issues this issue this this book comes out every two months. So I need to reread like what happened last issue to understand what this one is. I uh, look like I think I remember what happened last issue, but yeah. Uh this is a nine part story, so it is taking a long time to finish. Um this is issue six. This began last year, I believe. So it's still going on. I think this came out with all the other Harley Quinn books. Har the Harley book. Yeah, the Harley Quinn book. To be honest, Black Label is not even Batman anymore. It's literally Harley Quinn. Look at all the titles that came out for Black Label compared to now. It's mostly been Harley Quinn, not Batman. 
But uh, we're gonna move on. Not a good jumping on point though. Uh, next up, Juggernaut number three, written by Fabian Nicieza. 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 Art by Ron Garney and colors by Matt Mello. The price is three ninety nine, and this is the description of the book. It's no secret Juggernaut has been on the wrong side of the law in the past, but can even justice stop him, or will he tear down the system? Um, Juggernaut is a cool miniseries. It's literally five issues, so we're in the middle story. In the middle story, uh, he's met a kid. He fought the Hulk in the last issue, and um, he's trying to figure out himself in the world. So it's a cool book. Uh, cool to read a Juggernaut book. Uh, because uh, I read him in Uncanny X Men by uh, Matthew Rosenberg, and it was pretty cool. And then, ever since all the X Men stuff happened, he's just kind of like never happened. Oh, and he's not allowed in Krakoa. So, if people don't know who uh, Juggernaut is, he's not a mutant. He's literally a man with a power stone. So, not a power stone, but like magic. So, yeah, it's cool. I was gonna pick it up in uh, in the beginning, but I'm like, I'll read it because there were still copies. And holy crap, I loved it. So I'm happy about that. So we will see. Next up, Justice League number 57, written by Joshua Williamson, art by Zarmanico, colors by Romulio Fajardo Jr. The price is $3.99. And this is a description from the book Doom Metal Finale. The Legion of Doom have has been freed, and now they're turning on their saviors. The Justice League. Teeth will gash. Knuckles will be barred, and Lex Luthor will make a decision that shocks everyone, including Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. The end of this epic tale leads directly into Dark Knight Death Metal number 5, a Dark Knight's Death Metal tie-in. This should have come out before Dark Knight's Death Metal issue 5. Because uh, I read them literally 8 through... B, but I'm going to have to just read this and then uh, Death Metal number 5. Um, it's literally the finale for the Dark Knight's Death Metal time for this Just League title, so um, you don't need to pick it up. I think it was only like 6 parts, 6 or 7 parts, so yeah, it was interesting, it's fun, it was an interesting, it got better uh, closer to the end, I will say that much, but um, yeah. Next up, Nightwing number 76. Uh, it's written by Dan Jurgens, art by Ronan Cliquette, and the price is three ninety nine. And this is this is the description of the book. One bullet robbed Nightwing of his memories and identity. One bullet erased Dick Grayson and replaced him with Rick Grayson. Now he's Dick. True identity returned. KG Beast is back with one last bullet for him. Using a using Bea as bait. KG Beast has made it abundantly clear that this one last bullet isn't intended for Nightwing's head. This one is aiming to puncture his broken heart. Um, yeah. So, what you need to know is KGB, KG Beast shot him uh, Nightwing on issue 55 of Batman. And for about two years, he's been calling himself Rick Grayson, and <laughs> nobody liked it. It was a cool idea in the beginning. It was... An interesting idea in the beginning, but then as the book went along, I'm like, can I get Dick Grayson back? And like each issue, I'm like, oh, we might get Dick Grayson back this issue. No, only for it to be like, nah, he's still Rick Grayson. So to see what what like twenty issues of Rick Grayson, that would work like a twelve issue mini, but not twenty issues. Oh my god. Uh but yeah. Pick up issue 75 and 76 for your jumping down point. Next up, Once in Future number 13, written by Kieran Gillen, art by Dan Mora. The price is $3.99, and this is a description of the book. Bellwell's arrival was unexpected when it was an, an, uh, an unexpected one, and now that the smoke has cleared, Grant and Duncan are beginning to wonder what surprises lurk around the corner? Meanwhile, in Otherworld, Merlin is up to his old tricks and crossing over with another story that was just the beginning of his plan. Um, this is basically a jumping on point, but like, you need to read this book from the beginning because it helps you a lot more. It's not like Marvel DC. This is literally a grandma and a grandson 
grandma had a secret and the grandson was like, what? You were this? Like, when? And this all exists? What? Uh, but yeah. The characters are awesome. I like the book. The book is, holy crap, good. Uh, again, this is a Karen Gillum book. I basically read two of his books and I liked it. He's also writing the Eternals books. So, yeah. That's coming out, I believe, next week. I don't know. Yeah, next week. I think it's coming out next week. Uh, but yeah. Once a future, pick up the first rate because it's good, man. It's good. Okay. Next up, Rorschach number two, written by Tom King, art by Jorge, Jorge, George Fornes, and colors by Dave Stewart. The price is th uh, $4.99. It is a black label book, so this is not your hero. This is Rorschach we're talking about. The guy who beats people to death. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is a Tom King thing, so I will say that much. I read the first issue. It's good. It's it's not what you think it is. It's an investigation to who the hell took on the Rorschach mantle in 2020. But we're going to move on to the description of the book. Chapter 2. What's the connection between an Asian comic book artist and Rorschach? That's the question the, dete the detective inves investigating the attempted assassination of a presidential candidate must not answer. Will Meerson, Meerson, an reclusive artist known for his pirate comics, went from drawing the adventures of po Pontius Pirate and the Citizen to working with a mysterious young woman hell-bent on making sense of a post-Watchmen world. Somewhere in the life of Will Meerson lies a key to learning more about Rorschach. Eisner winning award winning writer Tom King teams up with rising star George Fornes to delve into background maneuvering and political corruption in a story that asks how far a man with ideals will go to make them reality. Issue one. Um, I enjoyed it. I really can't wait for more. It's a master series that's gonna be 12 issues. Uh, I'm enjoying his Mr. Miracle book. Mr. Miracle book. Holy crap, that's good. Um, never read a Mr. Miracle book. I saw him in Young Justice. And I read him a little bit in Superman. But, uh, holy crap, it's a... But, but besides that's Mr. Miracle Rorschach, the first issue, it's literally a murder investigation. <laughs> it's literally about that. But, yeah. Uh, I pick up issue one and two. I did comic book shop. Uh, we're going to see how long. I only got four books. It's 22 books I'm picking up this week. If you want to know the whole list of the books, again, it's all in the description. Just go to your description. Uh, and also, please let me know in the description if you're enjoying this. What books are you excited for? What else do you want me to talk about? And yeah, next book. Something is Killing the Children, number 12. Written by James Stein IV. Art by Werther Del Adera. The price is $3.99, and this is the script of the book. Time is running out for Erica to save Archer's Peak, both from its monster inf infestation and from the occupation of the Order of St. George. Will Erica be forced to finally stop being a lone wolf and accept help, help from unlikely allies? Now, Something is Killing Children is literally the best horror comic I've read. I, well, I picked up issues all the way i read the first six issues i'm like i want more uh because i met james sign the fourth uh twice on c2e2 a uh, very kind guy i bought something killer show the first issue i'm like i had him sign i had it signed i'm like i bought it i'm like i i had i bought the book i'm like might as well read it i read the book i'm like i'm gonna hunt down the other issues because i'm i'm my mentors has been peaked and it's 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 a good book it's hunters it's not it's 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 just hunting monsters well just one monster in the town so yeah and as ish, as each issue goes you're learning more about her the order of saint george the monsters the people of the town and um i i read i'll i'll recommend that for straight that's how good it is uh next up teen times number 47 written by robbie thompson art by javier fernandez and Marcelo Miolo, the price is $3.99, and this is a description of the book. 
loose ends conclusion. Robin betrayed them. Superboy abandoned them. Now the only Teen Titans left are Crush, Kid Flash, Red Arrow, and Ran Roundhouse. As the teen heroes wrap up what may be their final mission, they're going to get some unexpected encouragement from a group known that knows a little about a little about how hard it is to be heroes. Special guest stars, the original Titans, who there still may there still be some good this team can do in the future. The final issue. Yeah, it's the final issue for Teen Titans. Um to be honest, I thought this title was going to get cancelled early on, but it never did until now with Hawkman. I read Hawkman uh, earlier today. Holy crap, that's a good issue. And um, I, I recommend you read the Hawkman trades, please, because that book was good. Uh, Teen Titans has been uh, like a mish posh of good and bad. Um, not all of it was good, not all of it was bad, but these are like better for trade reading. But yeah, um, Robbie Thompson was pretty okay. I mean, that's that's all I'll say. I only had a few issues to write about at the same time, so I'm not going to give him too much crap. Or, uh, yeah. But next up, two more books, and that's it. Uh, Venom number 30, written by Donny Cates, art by Luke Ross, and colors by Jesus Abertov. The price is $3.99, and this... The description of the book. Venom Beyond Finale. This is it. The face melt melting finale to Venom Beyond by Donny Cates and special guest illustrator Luke Ross. Trapped at the mercy of the dangerous new foe called Codex, Eddie Brock will have to make an impossible choice. Now, after this issue, next up is literally the Donny Cates lead event, King in Black. Uh, next issue is the time to King in Black. So, I'm excited for King and Black, but here's my thing with King and Black. There are way too many tie-in issues. Why, Marvel? Why do you need so many tie-in issues? I read Absolute Carnage. I read all the tie-ins. You don't need all the tie-ins. But, um, read just Venom and anything written by Donny Cates for, for, for Marvel. If you're liking Venom or, or just his, his book, just read anything his, he's writing. Um, I'm not picking up every time, uh, because one, we are in the middle of a pandemic. Two, you don't need, like, 30 goddamn times. Sorry for the rant. Just my thing. You don't need the times. I'm reading the, the, the times for death metal because, um, I'm enjoying death metal for the most part. And the books that already tie in, I mean, some characters like. But, yeah, I mean, there's, like, so many times for, for... King and Black, but um, yeah, that, that that's it for Venom. That's my spiel. Uh, next up, the final books, the final book of the week is X Force number fourteen, written by Gary Dugan and Benjamin Percy, and the head of X himself, John the Hickman. The art by Joshua Casera, uh, colors by Guru EFX. The price is three ninety nine, and this is the description of the book. Ten of Swords, Chapter 17. Chivalry gives way to fury. A knight must kneel. Continue from Wolverine number seven. Continue, continue in Hellions number six. Uh yeah. Totally excited for all these books. Can't wait to read them. Uh I'm gonna try to finish all these books. Because I still got Punchline to read, Savage Avengers, Seven Secrets, and Superman, and the whole head of X. Uh but yeah, that's my podcast. I hope you enjoy. Have a good day or night, and as always, peace.